Hi there, it is David Lee for the James Bond dossier once again uh, on this fine Monday morning. I managed to survive the first week back at work, um, taking a bit easy, but you know. Uh, on, let's see, Tuesday I sent out the monthly newsletter, which uh, maybe you got. Uh, you can always sign up if you are not a subscriber. It is free. Uh, you can remove your details at any time if you uh, don't wish to receive it anymore. You don't get spammed. Um, and it's full of Bond news. So what could you possibly uh, not want to receive that for? Um, Okay, last week on Friday, I recorded um, an episode of James Bond and Friends. Uh, I was invited on with Bill Koenig of the Spy Command. And um, so it was just three of us, James Page from MI6 um, and, and two guests. And we were talking about the latest Bond news and you know what we thought about various uh, rumors and so on. And there, there was something interesting on that which came up. We were talking about um, the possibility of Christopher Nolan directing because he, he said he would be interested, but he has also said that he would have to take complete cr creative control. And, you know, you, you can see that in the way that he approaches filmmaking and, uh, you know, why would he want to, to change that if that's, the, if that's what works for him? Now, I'm not a huge fan of Christopher Nolan. Um, and initially when we were discussing this as a rumor, we, we discarded it because, um, you know, that's not how E.ON Productions works. But um, there is a perhaps a, a spanner thrown in the works in that um michael g wilson he is in his 80s now he has had health problems and the big question is will he uh, want to remain closely involved in bond 26 or will it will it be you know 99 percent barbara broccoli and um so th this just got this just triggered something but while we were having this conversation, I hadn't thought about it before, and it was it was simply this: um, What if Barbara Broccoli uh, and she finds herself in this uh, situation, but she wants a she does she wants a creative partner who is willing to take a lot of that stuff off her hands, uh, so replacing in effect Michael G. Wilson with Christopher Nolan, and uh, that. <laughs> Uh, that we agreed is a possibility, but uh, li listen to the podcast. Uh, I can't remember what, I can't remember how far in the podcast that uh, bit of the conversation takes place, but um, I'll, I'll link to it uh, below so you can listen to it there. Uh, I think we often have some fairly interesting things to say, um, even though I say it myself. Okay, so that's it for this week. Um, it's a, a bit, bit of a crazy week for me this week. And uh, so I don't think I'm going to be putting out much Bond content uh, next week, maybe a bit more. Uh, but hopefully, God, there's a fly. Ho hopefully see you then. Okay, thanks for watching. And yeah, if you are not already a subscriber, then don't forget to sign up now. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.